Welcome to Music Man TV. This is Stevie Cousins. Do yourselves a favour and get into it. Let's have a good time tonight. G'day, Steve. How you going, mate? Oh, so good. Thanks What's for having me. What's been happening, mate? Oh, heaps. Travelling up and down the road, having a bit of fun. Having a bit of fun, breaking down here and there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we made it. Mate, I heard, yeah. you, I heard you had a bit of trouble with your car. Let's go and sit on the couch and have a chat about it and see what uh, we find out what's going on with that, eh? Oh, we'd love to. Let's go, mate. Grab yourself a Cooper's. There's one in the, beer, in the, in the thing there for you. If you want to grab that one, that's all good too. Let's go and have a chat. It would be rude not to. Absolutely, let's go. Go and sit down over here guys. So we're just doing, doing a bit of backwards oh, stuff there. Let's go. We'll turn this around and uh, we can get us in here in the shot. So, what do you want um, me? Just sit on the couch. Just right. there. Oh, good. Um, right, there we go. Yeah, that's good. How are we going with that, Tez? All good, mate? Yeah, cool. We might need a bit of power <laughs> to charge in on that. She's a bit flat on the old... Um, on the old iPhone 6, it's telling us we got 20%. Right. She's still going. But it's still going strong. We're all good. All right, eh? wait till Tez is ready and we'll uh, have a bit of a chat. It's all good. So this is the backside. This is behind the scenes of Music Band TV. So actually we go out every week on Facebook Live, Steve. So not only are we... Uh, on, um, you know, doing our proper show with the cameras and everything and all get edited and put into place. But we also, every week, we like to go out live to the punters so they can see what's going on in the background and just see how, you know, how a television show, you know, sort of gets uh, set together. up. Yeah, yeah, for all Australian music, all Australian artists. And for me. You know, and for you. <laughs> yeah, man, share it with your friends. You know, that's what it's about. We're about sharing here. And I suppose that's the whole thing about... You know, my, my passion and belief of Australian music is always to be, you know, out there to give every opportunity for every artist that I possibly can get through our show in the next few years to, you know, get out there and just get, you know, get it, get it going and get you guys seen and heard and, you know, that's what it's about, you know, helping out, helping out the punters and getting them out there so that they get to see you and do what you do well. Well... I can say on behalf of all the Australian artists that we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. Cool. And and you know, it's not it's not you know for me it's not just about that. It's I just have this uh, amazing passion for you know playing myself, but then to be able to offer the opportunity for for you guys to come and do your craft and let everyone out there see what we do. That's that's what it's all about, and that's where we're you know that's where we're sort of heading, and that's what Music Man Team's about. So. All right, I, you know it was a bit hectic for you today. We're yeah. nice and calm now. We're in our zen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a sneaky swig on the beer. And uh, thanks to Coopers for all your uh, efforts there. You know you always uh, chip in every week, so it's good to uh, have a beer with Coopers. And uh, yeah, good all, all Australian. That's what we're about here. We're trying to get as many um, Australian. Uh, uh, you know, influencers, you know, in the industry to come come on board with us and do what we do, and that that's the whole point of it. Is um, you know, you got to be all Aussie, all Australian to be on our show. And um, there's actually statistics, Steve, that um, 27% of Australian music is only played on national radio at the moment, which is horrendous. Wow. So what we want to try and do is we want to try and change that. You know, doing things like this and try and get all you guys heard first, and then we can have some you know other influencers come in after that rather than the other way around. And 20 years ago, that's what it was like. We all supported Australian music in the late 80s and early 90s. It was, a, it was a big thing and then it died right off. You know, we had likes of recovery and all those sort of shows do what they did and they really helped the industry and got them going. And then it's died right off. So I'm going to take it on, take the bull by the horns and get out there and, uh, you know, give us a hand to get it going and let's go. Let's go. Let's so let's talk about today. Let's do it. You were meant to be at what time? Uh, I think I was planning on being here at about 5.30. Yeah. And what yep. time did you get here? Uh, probably five past seven. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now you need to tell the punters why. What happened? Uh, well, no, I was just lazy and couldn't be. No. <laughs> I wish. I was driving down the road and then the car started. Oh, Chucky's angry. Eh? Like, <laughs> no, no, he wasn't angry. No, he's, he's just telling a story. Settle down. It's okay. All right. Just it, behave. It was, it was a lie. It was all right. <laughs> um, yeah, no, the car started screaming at me. It's oh, a, no. Warning, warning, warning. Your car's overheating. Uh, coolant, check your coolant. And went and had a look under the car, and sure enough, it was just pissing out coolant. Oh, no. And we're on the side of the road. Apparently, one of there was a lovely lady that stopped to try help us and yeah. offered to give us some water, and she's like, it hit 40 degrees today. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, man. And so what a day to be stuck on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Needing to be here and a show in Brisbane tomorrow. We haven't even started. Like, we just come from Melbourne. It's yeah, us, yeah. like two days straight driving just to get here. Yeah, and like, God. Sweet. Like all good, and yeah. we actually put the van in for a service. So I thought it was going to be all, all right. sweet, but yeah. I guess old old cars, you never know what's going to happen. And yeah, so we looked at it. I got the spanners out, opened the bottom, had it off on the side of the road, looking at it, and then 
realized it was the coolant and was couldn't quite get find the hose where yeah. it was about and realized that it was slow enough that we could just keep topping it up. Yeah. So we put the pan back on and we first drove five Ks and then it was like, all right, we've used about 500 mils in five Ks. Maybe we can do 10. Yeah. So it worked out. We could do 10 Ks, chuck another liter in and we'll make it <laughs> by, like, we'll make it in time and we can still make the show go Mate, ahead. the bush mechanic, mate. He was famous <laughs> in the old days, mate. That's Aussie icon. The bush mechanics are awesome. You just do what you do to get through the desert and get to the other side yeah. to do what you need to do. That's awesome. That's really cool because... You know, not many people are handy like that these days too. So for you to like pull over and have a dip yourself, that's I, awesome, mate. I got to give my dad some props too. Yeah. Was, I was definitely on the blower to my dad. Yeah, dad's <laughs> like, what, what, what do I do? Yeah, he was like, oh, because he's ripped apart his old um, Toyota yeah. Hilux before and yeah. back like to the chassis, built it back up again, just yeah. loves knowing how it works. Yeah. So I was lucky to have him yeah. who just mechanically minded yeah. my whole life to then yeah. have that same attitude yeah and i phoned him and i'm like this was happened it gave this warning this there's been none of these signs and he's like all right check this do that and we're like talking to each other trying to figure out what we're supposed to do and yeah i guess without without his help i wouldn't have i don't think i would have made it today <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if i would have had the confidence to keep driving well thanks for the dad for helping us out here so what's your old man's name richard 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 yeah. you're a legend mate thanks Absolutely for getting him legend. here to music man tv yeah. It's so good to have him here and doing what he does. It's wicked. That's that's absolutely awesome. Richard got him here. Got Steve here and his lovely partner. Yeah. So they've managed to find their way back down the coast or up the coast to get here, which is absolutely awesome. So happy times with that. So let's um let's uh, digress from that a minute. So I know you and I've spoken before, but like you know, obviously we need to have a chat about you know where did it all start for you and you know how have we got to this place? Well, I guess I've always I've grown up with music around me yeah my mom was a music teacher oh cool um then she, she went into math but we had like pianos and guitars and yeah. stuff lying around and yeah. there was always classical music for some reason yeah. which is why you saw the violin before yeah, that's so a, cool when i was a young kid it's all i wanted to do for some reason was play the violin yeah and then um so i played that for a little while and yeah. then that was sort of the extent of my music yeah when as a kid yeah and then stopped when I got into high school, yeah, and because um, it wasn't cool anymore, and I was uh, mate, you, you just made the kid. violin look super cool. That look, that I was just like, what? It's a violin. That looks <laughs> wicked, man. Maybe that's the high school like haunting me. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's not cool. Well, I'll show you now. <laughs> yeah, get it out now. It looks but, sick. Um, yeah, but then I, I kind of stopped, and then we sort of moved around a bunch as a kid, yeah. and music kind of disappeared for ages. Yeah, yeah. Even though I, I sort of loved it, and without yeah. even going at it seriously I, I had it around me and yeah, then yeah. through trying one thing to another I actually studied to be a paramedic oh um, wow yeah okay and it was towards the end of that that I realized that um I needed to do I had I'd been doing no music and yeah that would have just been a job and yeah. I could see myself burning out in that job yeah and there was there was no reason for me to just go at music now yeah and while you can because it's i mean you got to roll the dice as yeah. we were saying earlier you, yeah it's it's a risk you don't know what you're going to get out of it but yeah. right now just it just felt like the right time yeah so it just went from i finished my course finished yeah. my paramedics and then yeah. just went 100 percent at music yeah. can have a crack now while yeah. i can yeah and and that, so and, far, so good. Well, yeah, and yeah, that's the whole point, you know. Like I, I've, I've been, you know, obviously as the first time you're on my radio show a while back, and then you know now here we are sitting having a chat again, and to see where you've come from with, you know, you giving me your disc and a bit of paper and yeah. going, here you go, man, it's my thing. <laughs> to now having, what are we up to? Nearly fifty thousand or something people on Spotify. Yeah. It's going off. People are starting to love you. Your new album, your new track just came out yeah. of, not even like a week and a half ago, and yeah. you already got. 6k of people all jumping on that it's just I can't believe it. it's just flying mate yeah, you know you obviously got the right recipe and people love what you do yeah and that's that that's awesome you know that's what it's all about and i suppose um you know your background from where you've lived in your life too i mean it was in namibia yeah namibia yeah wow namibia as a kid and then yeah then dubai for a little while and then now in australia for 12 yeah. 13 years yeah and, yeah i mean i'm just really grateful that i got to come here yeah because i don't think i would have been able to pursue these opportunities or meet people like yourselves too they yeah, just yeah. want to i just i just feel like right now in the music industry um i've just met a whole bunch of good people yeah that just want to help people out yeah and i really I, lo I really love that about 
the scene right now. And yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be let down soon or what. <laughs> You're waiting right for the bubble to burst. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> right now there's just good people wanting to yeah. help good people and yeah. if you're willing to take opportunities and go and do things, then yeah. it seems like the right thing to go right for. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and that's the thing, you know, that's what this is all about, you know. It's about creating a space where we can all go there and we can all help each other to create music together. You know, it's not, it's not a, it doesn't have to be a snaky, selfish world with these, you know, art, you know, these um, big companies trying to worm their way into getting your dollars, you know. These days we're that lucky to do it ourselves, which is yeah. awesome, you know. You, you, you have the power. You it's yours, you know, you can make your own music. You know, like even today you said, I sold out of CDs last <laughs> night behind the scenes and I'll have to burn you some more to give away tonight, <laughs> Chuck. and you're out there burning it on your laptop, put it in your sleeve, like that's just cool. You know, no, you know who does that? That's dedication. Like that's that's awesome, mate. And that's real grassroots, and that's what it's all about. Is you know getting out there and making it happen. And then you remember that in ten years' time when when you're up here doing your thing, and you know be like, remember that time we're at Chook's joint and we were you know mucking around and we we're burning disc and everything folding was a right here folding the paper, <laughs> which is beautiful paper, mind you. Is yeah. that your head on there or what? It is. My sister actually uh, drew that. She oh, drew did it, she? Yeah. She drew it on paint. She's really? a very talented. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. She actually yeah. does a lot of the the stuff that I do. If you go if you yeah. um, go on my Facebook at the moment, yeah. the next event I'm coming up back in um, Victoria, where yeah. I'm based out of, yeah. is at the Western Port, and she yeah. actually drew this thing, this birthday card for my yeah. birthday. Same thing, just like traced a picture. And that's I was like, that's the coolest picture. Can I use it for the poster? Yeah, yeah. So I'm just totally. like put it up and put it on the poster and <laughs> job done. Like. I, I don't see that stopping, actually. But that's cool. Yeah, it's Just great. get her to do your be creative artist. Yeah, the creative, yeah. The creative side of things. Yeah, that, that's. Uh, I heard about a band the other week, actually, that was saying something about um, how they actually put it out to the punters that follow them, and said, "Right, we're coming to Thailand, say, so all you guys do our band posters for us, and we'll pick yeah. the best one to use for the gig." So they basically said you get two free tickets for you and your partner if you you know if you if you do the best the best band poster, and then happy days. So we're like, what really? What a good idea! So they're going around touring the world, and then they get someone to mock you know band poster band poster. They get all these ideas sent to them, and they pick the best one and give them two free tickets. Take that with you. That's a good idea. That's a good idea on the road. No, yeah. then you'll cut your sister. Then <laughs> she'll be pissed at you. <laughs> You go, yeah, you got to have fun. That's that. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a bit rude, wouldn't it? <laughs> She'd well, be like, well, damn it. <laughs> maybe she's busy. Yeah, well, she I mean, you got to back up the ideas yeah, yeah, for yeah, when yeah. you get stuck in a corner. Totally, yeah. totally. That is good. So Victoria base, Phillip Island. Yep, Phillip Island on the island. Yeah. Superbike heaven. Superbike heaven. Yeah. Uh, surf heaven as well. Surf heaven. Oh man, more, some more great. Eyesight. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. some great <laughs> spots down there. Yeah. You go. Over, I remember going over there a while back. You go to San Remo Bridge, come down around. Through in and there was like a bay in the corner there somewhere, and it was on yeah. the it was on the bay side, not the ocean side out there. And there was awesome waves. We went down there. I was a gut slider in my day. And yeah. I used to love the old boog. Get <coughs> loose on the boog and get in. The, you just get barreled and slammed over at Flinders, which is the other side yeah. from where you are. And mate, we had some fun times doing I that. Bet. Yeah, the I old bet. the old gut slider. Yeah. Chook loves a bit of gut sliding. <laughs> it's always fun, mate. <laughs> always been getting pushed by the boys to stand up, but you know. <laughs> Bit dodgy knees, bit old nah, and shaky, but, but I'll get there. I'm I'm sure they wouldn't have come close to the the spots where you were just trying to just slot into the shoreies. And oh just get yeah, demolished. yeah, absolutely. So the, you got that on them. Yeah. yeah. Oh mate, you just ten on the head straight in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good fun, happy times. All right. Well, um, you know what? Let's have a bit of a let a play again. What What are you going to play for us, mate? Well, I'm going to play you a song called Coffee. Yep. Um, it's it started off on a on a Sunday afternoon, which you'll hear in the track. Yeah. Um, it was just, just a way of blowing off steam. It was back when, before I really started getting going at um, just playing all these shows and yeah, being yeah. able to live off the yeah. music. Yeah. And um, I still had a job making coffees. Yeah, wicked. And I just learned how to make coffees and I, I got home. It was Sunday afternoon and I needed to blow off some steam and yeah. I just um, sung about what was going on around awesome. me. Awesome. And it was, it was a bit of a, just a bit of a laugh, to be honest. Making coffee on the island? Yeah, it was actually yeah. it was actually um, in the eastern suburbs. I was making okay. coffee yep, but, um, up the coast a bit. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and then um, yeah, just <laughs> singing about just what came was happening. Out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere, and yeah. hap- my mum happened to walk was because I was at my my folks' place at that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. My mum walked past and she's like, "Oh, that's that's really good." And I was like, "Really? Is it?" Oh, it, was just, <laughs> it was just a bit of a laugh. And then I played it in um, in the next show that I had. Yeah, 
And then at the end of the show, everyone came up and said, that coffee song, that was a... It was like, a bomb. <laughs> I yeah, loved really? it. So, yeah, yeah. I guess you hear these stories again and again of yeah. songs that were just easy and came out of nowhere. Yeah, it happened yeah. to be songs that work, and yeah. this just happens to be my song of that. And Sweet, just, bro. Well, let's get up and do it. Lighthearted and yeah. fun. Happy times. All right, well, let's get up there. We're going to get set up with a few cameras, so uh, just bear with us, folks. We'll be back with you in a sec. We're going to get up here and watch uh, Steve Cousins do his song Coffee. So do yourselves a favour. Let's get stuck into it. Music Man TV. Let's go and see Steve. What do you reckon, Chuggy? <laughs> Happy times, let's go. Yeah. Righto, off we go. Rightio, guys. Oh. So everyone on Facebook, we're getting there. We're going to come around here now and um, go and watch Steve do his thing. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to get stuck into this one, have a bit of fun. So I hope you're all enjoying watching in tonight. And you found us on our new channel, Music Man TV. So we're going to give you, this is behind the scenes, by the way. I'm just letting you all know. And we'll have a proper edited one uh, later on. So you will get to see all the footage in the next few days once that's all done there. But um, Chucky and I are uh, super stoked to uh, come in and have a chat with you guys in the background so you can see what we do here at Music Man TV and have a bit of fun. So everyone's getting set up. They're uh, just doing that thing. Let's have a bit of a look at that, eh? Let's uh, see what's going on here. There you go. Cameraman's in there. Everyone's getting ready. There's Jim Bob doing his thing. Everyone's having fun. We've got uh, a few there doing that, having a bit of fun there. So, yeah, get ready for this, and uh, we'll flip it around and we'll watch him play his song Coffee, which is on Spotify, iTunes, Bandcamp. So do yourselves a favour. Go and get Coffee by Steve Cousins. It's a ripper. Right Whenever you're ready, brother. When, Tez, you ready? You good? Yep. Hang on. Yeah, he's ready. All good? Right, now, here we go. This is Steve Cousins with coffee. Let's go. I'll turn it around. Enough of my shit. Let's go. 